Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Week 7 review! <laughs> the first game saw Liverpool only narrowly beat Sheffield United. From unfortunately, Dean Henderson playing leapfrog with the ball and not making himself with a save. Good effort that. <laughs> but a lot of people being very concerned with Salah and Mane's performance, so yeah, everyone sell them so that they can go and score me loads of points, thank you. So Villa and Burnley was not the most boring game ever? <laughs> but it finished 2 all with of course Ashley Barnes not being involved at all. But both teams actually only had three shots on targets for their two goals, so it could have very easily finished nil-nil. But Villa did actually get another goal, which was assisted by VAR, so it didn't count. And it finished all square. Bournemouth West Ham. If clean sheets didn't exist in this league already, then this game was definitely not going to Amazon Prime anytime soon, definitely not going to deliver. But a very even back and forth game for both teams to get a point. With both teams not starting too badly in the League 2, so 2-2 two -two is not too bad. Two! Chelsea. Clean sheet. What? But not only that, they only conceded one shot. So are you telling me they're actually going to keep clean sheets now? But Chelsea didn't have too many clear-cut chances themselves, but they did still manage to get a comfortable win, so Lampard, good job, lad. Palace, Norwich. Well, Norwich at home. Woo, woo, woo. And Norwich away. Woo. But not a lot happened in the game other than a penalty and a last minute goal to separate the sides. Spurs doing um, a reverse Spurs by going down to 10 men, then conceding, then actually bringing it back and holding on to the win. So well done, you can do it. <laughs> but this time Harry Kane wasn't a lazy bastard and actually scored whilst not laying down. He was standing up this time. And Hugo Lloris, um, you guys might have to take his license off him again because was he a little bit drunk? What's he doing? Wolves Watford, the game that consisted of two teams that hadn't even won a single game yet. But finally one of them did and it was Wolves. They did have a very kind own goal for them to get it over the line, but that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Everton Man City, where for a few minutes, Everton actually looked like they could get something out of the game. Then they didn't. But Man City didn't look the best and still won comfortably, and that's just what happens when you have a good team. And billions of pounds. Leicester, um, for a team that's found it difficult to score so far, five goals ain't too bad in one game. Even without Madison. But with Championship Newcastle getting a red card in the first half, it wasn't a surprise they didn't manage a single shot on target all game. Man United Arsenal. Well, it hasn't happened for me yet because that's tonight and I'm just recording it the day before this video goes out. So there you go. Now on to my team where I scored the absolutely amazing, less than average, 42 points. So last week I made the transfers of Ryan out to Heaton and, well, none of the cheap goalkeepers got a clean sheet so didn't really make that much of a difference. But actually Ryan did score some save points so eh. But clean sheet will be coming for Heaton next. Easy. But this week Heaton only got one point after conceding two goals against Burnley and no, of course it wasn't Barnes who scored against Heaton. Don't be so silly. <laughs> and unfortunately, Heaton didn't get any save points. Trent, wait, managed to get a clean cheat? My man! Liverpool clean cheats. I thought I'd never see the day again. But it's actually here. It happened. Ignore the pookie party. It's the clean cheat party this week. Get in there. But that's six points for Trent, which at the end of Saturday made him the highest scoring defender in the game altogether. So not too bad at all so far. Next is Digne. It's either one point or ten. And this week, it was only one. So that's a lucky. After he conceded three goals against City and did nothing else. A lot of people are saying to get rid of him right now. But I'm still not too sure. He gets at least one more week for me. Rico managed to score a whopping... Zero points after conceding two goals and also a yellow card to top it all off. But he apparently made the most attempted assist this week with like six or something. So as well as Lance from on my bench, I think these two rotating is probably one of the best ways to go right now. Salah, my vice captain, didn't do too bad with three points. But a lot of people are considering getting him out already. But remember, he has got four goals and three assists. But yeah, at 12.5 million, is he still worth it? But I personally will be keeping him. And if people want to sell, Go ahead, that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem for me when he gets those points. Next is actually my only goal scorer this week, and it's Raheem Sterling. He actually didn't impress me at all in the game, and I'm not sure if that's because of the way he plays when Mahrez is playing, or if there's something else, but I ain't too sure on him. I just don't know, Jeff. Then we have Son. I did actually decide to captain him this week for a little bit of a punt, and I guess it did work out, because even though he only got five double to 10 from an assist, he got more than what Salah got, who would have been my captain instead of Son. And next is Mason Mount, who is my man. After he's got, actually, his first assist of the season, interestingly. But remember a week ago where I took an eight-point hit to get Mounted and Son? And with them getting me a combined 16 points this week after Captain Son with 10 and Mount with 6? So I guess it might be worth it. So are you telling me that I made good transfers? How is that even possible? That does not how it works this year. My forwards, we have the Pookie Party, who is a party pooper right now. Pookie, just do something, please. Then we have the Barnes Train, who has been very impressive at not scoring as soon as I got him in. Seriously, four goals in three games, 
and then absolutely nothing. No involvement at all. Which just isn't good enough. And finally, we have Haller, who, okay, he got me an assist this game at least, but he hasn't really been doing too much lately, which... Well, I was very confident with this front three, at least getting a goal, or maybe a few every week. But two weeks in a row, no goals, and I'm actually angry react to this right now. There's a lot of forwards like Wilson and Vardy who are just out of the price range of these players, but are much better options right now. So I would love to try and get some of them in, and I do still have my wild card, but not for another week. I'm going to give it one more game where I do actually have some really nice fixtures, and then maybe Vardy party instead of Puki party. Who knows? So 42 points from my team this week, and even though I like my team, the low scores of Salah and Sterling lately just haven't been good enough, so might have to tinker around with that with my wild cards. But for now, I'm okay. So that is the end of Game Week 7. Thanks so much for watching, and remember... <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. Ha, 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 ha.